Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Revelation chapter 3 verse 6 as well as Revelation chapter 4 verse 11. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you Father God for this word Lord Jesus. Bless us, help us to decipher it properly. Help us to have wisdom and understanding. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, Revelation chapter three, verse six, he who has an ear, let him hear what the spirit says to the churches. All right. And so this um, particular scripture, it's kind of wedged in between um, the call to Sardis as well as Philadelphia. And so we know that this one belongs more than likely to Sardis, but the Bible does divide it up right there as being a part of the Sardis letter. And so um, uh, the church of Sardis, um, there were people who were worthy and, and who hadn't stained their garments and um, would would be blessed um, by the Lord. But there were some there who um, were asleep, remember, and who um, whose works were considered incomplete. And so... Um, that is what the their letter pretty much consisted of. It says, he who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. So when the Spirit is speaking to the churches, he's giving us warnings. He's letting us know where we stand um, and, and how we need to be living in order to be ready for the return of Christ. And so... Um, this uh the the words that the Lord gives um in these scripture completions um is basically that type of of same thing because it's speaking through the spirit um the scriptures that the spirit wants us to know and so uh, it this one this particular part is saying to listen right it says he who has an ear let him hear this is not a physical ear this is a spiritual ear. If your ears are open to what the spirit is speaking to the churches, then listen up, right? It says, he who has an ear, let him hear what the spirit says to the churches. All right. And so the second scripture that the Lord gave me was Revelation chapter four, verse 11. Worthy are you, O Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power for you created all things. By your will, they existed and were created. And so this particular um, part of the passage comes after John um, is taken up into the presence of God, right? He heard a trumpet and then um, the angel basically let him know, let me show you what's going to take place, Um and so he's in the presence of God at this point. And, you know, he sees the throne of God. He sees everything around the throne. He sees what it's made of. Um, he sees um, just um, seraphim and all sorts of things around the throne. And so um, the angels are singing, worthy are you, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power for you created all things and by your will, they existed and were created. All right. And so that worthy are you, O Lord and God, we are in a time where, you know, the spirit is letting us know that we are about to encounter, you know, the God who created all things. This is not something to be taken lightly. This is not something that happens every day in our life, right? Most people don't encounter God until they're, until something happens and their heart stops beating or, you know, something. But what we're about to encounter and what's about to take place is something holy, right? Something good is about to take place. And we need to reverence God here in the spirit, what the spirit is saying to the churches. And we need to, to call him worthy, right? Do it now. 
call him worthy now while we are here. So it's it's not something that's foreign to us when we are there. It says, worthy are you, O Lord and God. Why is he worthy to receive glory and honor and power? Well, because nothing would be here if it had not been for him, right? It says, for you created all things right? I wouldn't be here speaking in this microphone. You wouldn't be there listening. There wouldn't be a house around you. There wouldn't be a tree outside. There wouldn't be air to breathe. There wouldn't be anything, right? It says, for you created all things. Acknowledge him as creator of all things. He created all things. He is worthy worthy, worthy to receive glory, honor, and power. It says, worthy are you, O Lord and God. He is Lord and God. He is our Lord, meaning he lords over us. He rules over us. He leads and guides us in our lives. He's our father. He's our Lord, right? And he's also our God, which means that, you know, he is to be worshiped. He is to be feared. He is to be reverenced. And so, It says, for you created all things and by your will, they existed and were created. And, and, you know, it's easy for us to say, oh, he created all things, but how, right? we, We can't wrap our mind around these things, right? It was by his will that they existed and were created. Somehow, some way, he made a way. We don't know. We don't understand it. We just have to accept it. And we, we, hopefully he's going to show us some more by and by, right? But he's a great God. We can never wrap our mind around him. He's a great God. He's a mighty God. He's an awesome God. Listen to what the spirit is saying to the churches. Listen to what the spirit is saying to the churches. He's telling us that they're around the throne, giving him glory right now. Give him glory with those who are around the throne. Give him glory with his angels as they sing praise and sing to him on his throne. He's a mighty God and he's worthy to be praised. Don't take it lightly. Don't take it lightly. Be sensitive to the things of God. That's what he's been saying tonight in these conflations. Be sensitive to the things of God. Fear him now while he may be found. Seek him now while he may be found, right? It says, worthy are you, O Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things. And by your will, they existed and were created. Let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for this scripture completion. Thank you for these words from your spirit. God, help us to heed them. Help us to sing praises to you. Help us to give you glory. Help us to worship you. Help us to go deeper and deeper and deeper and understand and know you better and let revelation come to our hearts and our spirits and our minds. God, let your joy and your peace permeate our minds and our spirit, regardless of anything that's around us, God. Help us to enjoy and bask in you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, if there's anybody out there who would like to receive Jesus as their Savior and Lord, go ahead and pray this prayer with me. But more than anything, believe it with all your heart as you confess it with your mouth. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Jesus, I believe you died on the cross and I believe you rose again on the third day so that I could be saved. Thank you, Father God, for doing this for me. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you, his children, his peace. Take care.